Good evening, folks, and welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. It's the FIBA Eurobasket quarterfinal between Slovenia and Latvia. Slovenia and White have uh, won the opening tip, and they get it inside and score immediately with Gaspar Vidmar. Had a great season, Vidmar, with uh, Banvit. Played here in Turkey, so he's familiar with these surrounds. Here's uh, Strelniex on the baseline. Gets it over to the big fella. Well, how about that? We need Roland Smith played a very important role for this Latvia team. And, yeah, uh, he, uh, he, had a, he had a tough start in the first couple of games. Dragic, little stop and pop. And we said it was going to be exciting, and it's not disappointing in the first minute. Already three field goals. Two of the highest scoring teams in the tournament, 90 plus for Latvia. Porzingis goes to work, and some help from Blacko Chanchar. Knocks it out of bounds. Yeah, Chanchar is a huge talent, kind of, uh, I think he's been flying under the radar a little bit here at the Eurobasket, but he's capable of coming out and making a lot of big plays tonight. Porzingis, did he get off in time? And they are going to say, no, he did not. Argentinian referee Lefcano uh, confirms that. And the Latvians have uh, some disappointed looks. But still for Porzingis to see your first shot go in never hurts. And Darius Bertans picks up his first personal, the younger brother, excuse me, the older brother of Davis Bertans, who plays with San Antonio, has uh, come back to the team this year. Had injuries have prevented him from playing at the last couple of Eurobaskets. Roland Smith and look at Dragic, boy, and now Strelniex reads the pass, and Chanchar behind him, oh. he gives it to Giannis Tima. Again, we said this is an exciting team, Strelniex, obviously in the first couple minutes already behind the back, and Tima with a highlight dunk. He did not even think about challenging, see the tournament assist average for both teams, didn't think about challenging uh, Randolph, did he? And now the ball gets away from uh, Goran Dragic. Back-to-back -back turnovers for Dragic. And Porzingis, little mid-ranger. Again, even though Randolph is a great defender, great shot blocker, he's still giving up so much height and length to Porzingis. No one can really contest that. And the dump down low to Vidmar goes up for the dunk and draws the foul. Porzingis kind of semi-challenged that dunk. Picks up his first foul, and of course, if he gets in foul trouble, it makes it a completely different game. You see here on the replay, minimal contact. Here's look at this, Strelniex behind the back, no-look pass to a trailing team up. And we've, you know, they've had some adversity in terms of uh, picking up fouls. Latvia, Porzingis picked up four fouls in one game yeah, that first against half Russia. Russia. And Giannis Tima picked up four, or no, excuse me, he fouled out, in fact, uh, in one of their games, but they, they still came back. Look at Randolph challenging on the offensive glass and getting it back for Slovenia. Dragons for three, good! And it seems like every time someone makes a hustle play, they're rewarded with a big shot. Great play by Anthony Randolph. Good ball pressure here from Doncic. Veritas drives in, kicks it back out. Here's Tima for three. We told you, it's going to be back and forth. Two heavyweights of teams here. They've both been playing uh, exceptionally well here at the Eurobasket. And Dragic gets in, passes it back out. Now Anthony Randolph, good! He matches the three with one of his own. And that's something he's added to his game since coming over to Europe. Able to knock down the outside shot. 
So we are all square at 10 apiece. And uh, Vasquez talking to both Porzingis and Randolph. And already you can see uh, Porzingis taking exception to the defense. This was the three that was disallowed. He got it off too, hand, too, uh, too late. Yeah, Randolph trying to get in Porzingis' head a little bit. Well, it was interesting, Sergio Scariolo uh, said in the press conference just now, I mean, he made a point to say it, that he felt like perhaps uh, a lot of the defending on his bigs, Mark Gasol, Pau Gasol, Aaron Gomez, there was a lot of contact that could have been called fouls. And Straniex, and a kick. It almost looked like Strelniex pushed off with his left arm. And a kick ball is going to put 14 seconds on the shot clock for Latvia. Here's a cross screen, down screen. Porzingis, Porzingis for three, and Doncic hardly mentioned his name. That's the first time he gets the rebound, and then he loses it as he crosses midcourt. Now a two-on-one break, and Tima looks off. Dragic takes it, and then Smits puts it up and misses. And Doncic is called for the foul, challenging the boards. Then Porzingis looks at Doncic like, what do you expect? A lot of you are very fortunate there as they come up empty on a two-on-one fast break. You see Doncic yeah, had the left arm, but to tough be call. honest, I could see why, why Doncic is uh, a little bit disbelieving there. Porzingis misses, and Doncic skies for another rebound. Boy, the, this uh, has all the hallmarks of a classic, folks. Dragic, look at the field goal percentage for both teams tonight. And Doncic uh, long on his first attempt from deep. Doncic and Randolph have been teammates at Real Madrid. Now they're teammates with Slovenia. Roland Smits rattles out. out. And Slovenia not able to control the rebound. Bertans makes some pay. Said it right, Jeff, makes them pay in second chance opportunities. Both these teams are going to put up a lot of shots, a lot of threes in this game. They can't give up offensive rebounds. Schmitz and Vidmar going at it hard. Now Dragic fouled while attempting the three by Darius Bertans. Well, it hasn't taken long uh, to get the first foul on the three-point shooter in this game. Yeah, Bertans again pleading his case, claiming I didn't touch him, I didn't touch him. I mean, it's, we just see it all the time now, don't we? Yeah, and it feels like every time we see the replay, they do touch him. <laughs> but we don't always see the replay. We don't want to see it. We trust them. Prokosko and Lakovic there, he's talking to, is, uh, for so many years, the point guard of Slovenia. Dragic, uh, we highlighted that aspect to his game uh, beforehand, his shooting percentage, over 85%. He had made 40 of 47 free throws coming into this game. And nothing but nets. And in the 24-point win, the last game against Ukraine, Dragic only had five points, didn't even need his scoring. He already has eight here in the first five minutes. Yeah, he just took, he took the other day off against Ukraine, even though he played decent minutes. And Tima goes in and swatted. The co combination of Doncic and Vidmar now. Doncic passes to, to Dragic. They're not, gonna, they're not in a rush. Vidmar gets it down low, goes up, and he follows the miss. What a great finish from Gaspar Vidmar. Yeah, Porzingis is fortunate to not pick up his second foul, honestly, on that last possession. Stroniex pulls up, decides to pass, and great defense again from Vidmar. And Stroniex called for a foul. And just in case you didn't believe there was enough firepower in this game, Lafia brings Davis Bertans off the bench. 
He's had a seven of eight three-point game already. As you see the replay here, the nice block from Vidmar. Vidmar's playing great on both ends. Look at this. He's going to follow the shot. And that's despite being sandwiched between uh, Porzingis and Tima. And the dump to Vidmar again, and just cool as you like, goes right at the unicorn. Davis Bertans passes to Porzingis, and cool as you like, yeah, it's the jumper. Too much room. And he's such a tough matchup for anyone, but if he can just line up and shoot, especially inside the arc, it seems to just go in more often than not. And Davis Bertans uh, stops the progress of Dragic. He passes over to Randolph, hand in the face. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Porzingis almost daring Randolph to shoot it. He's not down his first two threes now. Porzingis, and block is called on Vidmar. I'm not sure that Porzingis had to go down there, but I think he went down just to make sure he got the call. Yeah, and Porzingis' forearm was in Vidmar's chest. Watch we'll this. Here. Oh, the shoulder and the forearm, so that call could have gone e either way, to be honest. Look at the, the applause. You can't see, but the fans stand up behind the Slovenia bench and a roar of approval for Gaspar Vidmar as he uh, comes out of the game. He's been excellent. <laughs> Davis Bertans, his first attempt. And Doncic. Doncic ba baiting, and Tima falls for it. Again, this kid is 18 years old, already four rebounds. Six, seven, two meters, one shooting guard. He'll be, you think he'll be the first pick in the next, when he comes out for the draft? So they're, they're listing him right now as a top three pick. Obviously depends on the team and what they're looking for, but he still has a lot of time here in, in, in the FIBA world. Here you go, Propelic comes in, uh, Dragic comes in. Well, the European uh, guys that have been going to the to the pros have uh, been living up to the hype for the most part, haven't they? And uh, Doncic, those that are drafted really high. Yeah, and you saw that stat line, 14 points, seven rebounds, three assists plus for Doncic. And the most impressive thing about him is he just rises to the occasion each and every night. And Doncic makes both, and like, like most of their other games, They've got the bit between the teeth early. They were trailing 13 to 10, but uh, Slovenia have taken command here. A 12-2 run. Now Strelniak over to Tima. Ooh, that's way long. Now Dragic, open floor. Up to Muric. Doncic for three. Good! And Bogatskis decides it's time to call timeout. And if you were on that land, Latvia bandwagon thinking they were cruising, and now uh, Randolph bad and Tima blood getting here. into it a little bit. Yeah, Randolph and Tima, or was it Porzingis? And Porzingis is laughing as he goes to the bench. He's saying, go look at the replay, and you'll yeah. see who started it. Yeah, one thing about Porzingis, it's kind of hard to get in his head. He's very poised despite being just 22 years of age. He sees it pretty often with the Knicks. Yeah, so I mean, there's Dragic. a reason they're uh, undefeated in this Eurobasket. Big wins over France. Greece, obviously. Dragic makes both free throws. And now it will be possession. 12-point lead. 10 points, three assists already for Dragic. He's on his way to a huge night. He's on fire right now. You better get some water if you're Lavia. Dragic explodes, spins, passes to Muric, ends up Great with ball movement from Slovenia. Dragic for three. Of course. Of what course. a thing of beauty that was. 
That might have been one of the best possessions we've seen in this tournament. The ball going around the perimeter, touching every single player, and ends up in their best player's hands for the step back three. They're on a 20-2 run. Here's Porzingis. And a foul called. Is it Randolph? Porzingis showing his ability to get to the basket. Takes it hard. And Muric kind of leads him into Randolph's face. I mean, can you imagine a 20 to 2 run? Lavia haven't faced this type, this type of onslaught all tournament long. And the Lavia fans, uh, some, some worried looks over there. Yeah, a little bit less, less Latvian fans than we've seen in the previous games. Obviously, it's a long tournament. A lot of them made the trek for the first phase. Yeah, it's, it's a big ask to, to go for an entire Eurobasket. They packed out the house at the Fenerbahce Arena in uh, the Asian part of Istanbul. And offensive foul called on Dragic. Solid defense there from Davis Bertans. So we and call Dragic. an effective hedge. <laughs> Look at this. Arm straight up, takes it right into the chest. Proving to be a physical encounter. Into the corner, Thomas Bertan. Good! Room. Three pointer, and the comeback is on, folks. Five unanswered points now for Lavia. Yeah, no lead is safe against either of these teams the way they're able to shoot it. But can they get stops? And Giannis Blooms, the captain, picks up his first foul. He's coming off two strong performances after starting the tournament rather poorly. You oh. see him reaching, Good call. trying to get to, tries to get away with it. So Popelic, not the guy that you want to be fouling, shooting 91% from the line. Nikolic, meanwhile, comes in for the customary break for Dragic at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, Prepolic, 12 points per game. One of four players averaging double figures for Slovenia. Well, he's a, a dead-eyed shooter. That's what he does. So back to a 12-point advantage now. Grozulis will come in. Next dead ball, Janis Painis is in, number 31 for Latvia. Bertans, good! There is Bertans. And you know, these guys play at the highest level, either in the NBA or Europe. And Bertans, one of those players. Doncic for three. And Blooms with the rebound. Porzingis wants the ball inside here, matched up with Randolph. The Bertans is going to run out a little bit of clock. Here he goes, shot clock down to five. He gets in, puts it up, misses. And now time for, plenty of time for Doncic. He's on the fast break. And the bounce pass goes off of, I think, Bertans. So there will be 2.9 seconds left. And that's what, make Don, make, uh, sorry, that's what makes Doncic so dangerous. Crashes the defensive glass and then turns and goes on fast breaks. Already his fifth defensive rebound. See him pushing the tempo. Murich unable to catch the, the lead pass. Oh, and a foul. So that'll be free throws. Goodness me. What a foul to give away. With only 2.9 seconds on the shot clock. Boy, these, these two games uh, that we've watched today, you, you can see the stakes are so high. A lot of intensity, a lot of physicality, and the refs are making some calls. And certainly when they don't make the call that the other team wants to hear about it. So the referee is discussing with the coach. 
départ. Peut-être que le changement n'était pas autorisé entre Bilbao et Chantar. Chantar est rentré il y a 5 secondes, peut-être que ça So Vin Morris to come back into the game as no clock, no time will take off the clock before that foul, therefore there can be no substitution. And not only that, but they put the wrong man on the line for Pelic, so. He's uh, extending, re-extending the lead back up to 10. Just 24 years of age. He's been with his national team program for a while now. Played at the World Cup in 2014. Here's Bertans, Darius Bertans. Doesn't get it off in time. That will not count. He got it off just a little too late. So that's so six points now that Barbia has not disallowed. And the problem isn't their offense, their defense. 34 points allowed against Slovenia. And yeah, Vagaskis really uh, letting him hear about it. I think the contact at the other end. They're just going to look at this just in case, but I think we both agree he doesn't get it off in time. Yep, you see it there, zero zeros. Look at that on the great. Clock. It's a nice uh, shot, though. Great Definitely replay, nice great shot. shot. I think that might have been from the rail cam. <laughs> you got the spider cam and the rail cam. And we also have a 34-23 lead for Slovenia at the end of one. This is a Slovenia team that is on a roll. I'm sure they would have liked to have won the Eurobasket back in 2013 when they hosted it. Uh, but they would uh, certainly take a, a spot on the podium here. Jakob Blazic in the game now, number 11, as well as Nikolic, number six. And boy, that was a strong drive by Darius Bertans. Yeah, he's come out ready to play. Eight points. Does have two fouls, though, so has to be careful. Gorzoulis is in to match up against Vidmar to give Porzingis a break. And remember, Tima ha had to go out of the game to cool off after his unsportsmanlike, and now an offensive foul on Vidmar. Illegal screen. He doesn't believe it was, but... Bertens drives in again, this time throws it back out. And Jonas Painus looks for penetration. Nice oh, beautiful bounce pass. He didn't finish, though. And now Blazic decides we're going to run with it. And Jakob Blazic drives in. Three fouls now, Darius Bertens. And Strelnik will have to come back in. Again, such oh, a tough call there in transition. No, we're going to see uh, both Strelnyx and Porzingis come back in. And that, you know, that was uh, good recognition from Blazic and Slovenia. They want to push it as much as they can, as quickly as they can. And when you have players like Doncic, Dragic, but also Blazic, I mean, this is a team that thrives in the up-tempo game. Yeah, they're putting a lot of pressure on this Latvian defense, both in transition and in the half court as well. Nice. Second free throw from Blazic. So without one of the most important players now with the three fouls, it's uh, Davis, his brother, who takes the shot, Davis Bertans. For Pelic open, good! Boy, they have definitely got the wind in their sails right now. Porzingis is now taking one-on-one -on -one in transition and knocks it in and one. What a play from the unicorn. Caught the ball at half court. 
showing you his open floor dribbling ability. And Dimitri picks up the personal. See there, Dimitri not able to slow down Porzingis. He makes it. I tell you, I mean, I think we both agree that every day we woke up in the Asia part of Istanbul knew that we were going to watch Kristaps Porzingis. It just made our day, didn't it? Well, he and never disappoints. Nikolic pulls up at the charity stripe, and Porzingis tips it to Strelniex. Strelniex gets it back to Porzingis. He takes the contact yes. and another three-point play opportunity. And this is what a special player is able to do. I mean, it's unbelievable for someone of his size, his height, to be so skilled. You see the contact. And he just has that soft touch, gets the ball near the rim, and it's two bank shots in a row. And, of, of course, Randolph on the bench, Vidmar on the bench, but Porzingis does not complete the three-point play. And we expect Randolph to make substitution pretty soon. And Mastroniak's bumped. And uh, the referees... Uh, the Boricua, the, uh, the Puerto Rican referee says, I've had enough. I don't want to hear any more back chat. So Randolph and Dragic will come back in for Dimets and Nikolic. I quite like to look at Nikolic out there. He looks pretty uh, quick and feisty. There he is sitting down. Expect him, uh, once Mr. Dragic sails off into the sunset of international basketball, expect him to, to come out and be a big player for this team. Already is, in fact. Dragic. And follows up his shot. Porzingis. Oh, he gets rejected. He got rejected from Porzingis. Now Tima. Aliyub to Zanis Penis. And just a little bit out of his reach. But look at this block by Porzingis. A little bit of contact on the elbow. The question, yeah, maybe, maybe they got away with one. Luka Doncic has uh, been shooting it at about 34%. Dragic at 32. So the shots are falling for Slovenia right now. Here's Doncic. Randolph working his Janus Penis. Janus Penis uh, had a heart condition at one point. They didn't know if he would be able to play basketball. There's Tima, bulls his way and goes right at Luka Doncic. That's a great word. He has been a bully for Latvia. Whenever the ball goes to the post, he looks to put his head down and take it hard to the hoop. Haven't seen Martins Mares yet. He's a, a big that usually plays for Latvia. Dragic. And what look at that. Dragic. Shooters bounce. A silly foul. I got Pepu Hernandez beside me, the former Spain coach, doing commentary uh, for Spanish TV. And he just looked at that last shot from Dragic and marveled. Here, look at this. He, he coached against him back in 2007. Well, they were both at Eurobasket 2007, Slovenia and Dragic. And now an offensive foul on Porzingis. He's getting frustrated. So two fouls on Porzingis. He's got the 11 points. And Vidmar now clearing out down low, throws the elbow. And gets the call. Yeah, just a little bit too strong, too aggressive with that post up. Watch this. Right there. Well, he just arm. raised it, yeah. You see Davis Bertans, a lot of credit to him too, battling inside, not giving up position too easily. Able to draw that foul. <laughs> Here's Tima again. Tima 
Joniex pulls up. That's good. Here come the Latvians. Now trail by just six points. Game of runs, Jeff. And Dragic, boy. Referee lets some contact go there. Muric for three. And Bertans, Davis Bertans has it. Now Porzingis goes up, uses too the easy. glass. Way too easy, but also just beautiful. Money in the bank. See the two dribbles and then it drops that baseline for the turnaround jump shot off the glass. Tim Duncan-esque. What a privilege to be able to watch this. Randolph steps inside the arc. Not going to miss it. Heady shot there from Randolph. Knew the closeout was coming. Pump faked. Get to a spot that he likes. Now Randolph in the open floor. Going to pull up at the line. John X looks down low. Porzingis again. It's Dragic now. He's going to shoot it faces. and nail it. What can you do? What can you do? It is automatic, isn't it? 15 points. Well, Slovenia can't have mismatches in transition. They got to find a, some size to match up with Porzingis. Now, Modric wide open. Good. Well, he had his struggles this past season with Banvit, where he was a teammate with Vidmar. But he's hit some big shots in this tournament. Here's Porzingis again on the baseline and fouled by Randolph. Yeah, but you see, even if Randolph contests at the peak of his elevation, he's only at Porzingis' elbow, so he can't really get his hand on the ball. Slavia, great response after that huge 20-2 run from Slovenia. A chance here to cut it down to four, and Porzingis shooting 92% from the line coming into today. Obviously, he's missed one already. I just wonder maybe if they might be susceptible to pressure now, Slovenia, if that might come from Latvia with Dragic going out of the game. Uh, because the natural ball handler is not there. They don't have a natural point guard on the floor. Yeah, you see Luka Doncic, he takes up a uh, Well, let's see what he does, role. yeah. Does so for Real Madrid as well. He's had some performances, and you see oh, there. Oh, just drives. goes right through, and he's picked up the foul on Porzingis, number three. So he split that double. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have to bring him out of the game. A smart move from Doncic, absorbs the contact, turns. Oh, that is a tough call, though, isn't it? I mean, well, his body definitely impeded Doncic's progress. Anytime you attack the basket, there's a reward, isn't there? Yeah, Usually. Porzingis has to understand that guys want to get him out of the game. So when he challenges, he has to be a little bit smarter about it. Killing the body coming the way. Well, Porzingis, Porzingis, will this be the second time he picks up his fourth foul in the first half? This is a gamble. Huge gamble. Huge gamble. But he's been getting it done, hasn't he? He's been the man on offense. Strelniex drives in. And Porzingis was there for the follow. How about Strelniex? Living up to the hype himself. Four points, five assists. Doncic working against Blooms. Wants to isolation, pulls it up. Three-pointer and way long. Team back to Davis Bertans. Entry pass to Tima. He gets swatted by Doncic. That's Slovenia's point guard right now, Jeff. Wow. <laughs> Look at him. He says, I got this. Right over one of the best players in the tournament, Kristaps Porzingis. 48-41. Luka Doncic now says, I'm going to take center stage. 
and forces Lafayette to call a timeout. From a basketball standpoint, Doncic carrying on this tradition of strong basketball, especially guards coming from Slovenia. His pops played basketball, so he's learned it the right way. Obviously, he's been in Spain for a while now. See a little press now from Slovenia. Soft backcourt pressure. Strelniak has the ball kicked. So there will be 14 put on the clock. Bloom steps back. And the ball corralled by Randolph. And with Dragic back in the game and Porzingis out, you have to wonder now, is it going to be the finish to the half uh, that Slovenia like their chances of extending that lead. Dragic goes baseline against Blooms and has the ball stolen by Roland Smits. And if you turn the clock back and look at the game against Russia, when Lavia came from behind to win, it was the reserves that got the job done. But that time is Davis Bertans, who even though he comes off the bench, he plays a lot of minutes. He gets a big shot, four points to deficit. And again, Bertans, we saw it repeatedly last week. Just constantly in the gym, getting shots up. And he hands it off to Propelic. Dragic is down. Dragic takes the shot in the head. And I think he's going to come out of the game. They get it to Randolph. And Randolph draws the foul right at the end of the shot clock. And Dragic is uh, in obvious pain lying over there in front of the scores table. We'll take a look at this foul first. Tima has his arm straight up, picks up his third foul. Oh, there you see the elbow from Davis Bertans to the side of Dragic's head. Yeah, and he went straight to his head. Yeah, referees missed that one. Incidental contact. But it has been a physical game. I don't think there's any intent. I mean, this is a, it's a tough, you know, from a physicality standpoint, when you think about before this game, it's not something that you would really think that this would be the most physical game. Really, yeah, it's a lot of skill but players. You think maybe shooting, if Russia were playing <laughs> involved, <laughs> perhaps Serbia. in Serbia, then yes. But Latvia, Slovenia, but this has been a battle yeah, well, in Dragic, every sense of the word. Dragic has always been known as one of the you know, toughest warriors just in, the, in all of basketball, not just He in plays Europe, for the Heat, by the way, of course, of not course. the Warriors. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, obviously with everything on the line, the birth in the semifinals, players were giving it their all. Hopefully he'll be back, but he's uh, got some ice to his head right now. Probably sit out the rest of the first half. There is Bertans over to Davis Bertans. And Hits one. the three and is fouled by Zagarats. Unbelievable. And what a shift in momentum now this could be. Dragic goes down and Bertans avoids picking up the foul on one end and knocks down the three-pointer chance for the four-point play. And remember, you've got Porzingis able to sit down here at the end, the last couple of minutes, uh, so as not to risk picking up the fourth foul. The Latvia fans, after a very uh, nerve-wracking first 20 minutes, have uh, taken back some momentum here. And Davis Bertan is right in the thick of the action, to put it mildly. I'm sure it's coach Greg Popovich would be uh, admiring that play. Propelic bumped by Smits. So the referees are letting them play and a An offensive bit. foul, Zagres now trying to clear out down low. So you're seeing it numerous times on a Latvian hedge where the ball handler hits the guy. And you're you not allowed. Off. Although the left elbow caught him in the neck. And a chance for Latvia to somehow regain the lead. 
Climbing all the way back. Darius Bertans, foul before the shot, so he will go to the line for two anyway. Mordic uh, picks up the foul. And, and this now begs the question in terms of where Slovenia are in terms of depth. You know, you, you, you lose, you lose Dragic. You've got Doncic out here. And Doncic was called for that foul, so now he's got two. And it's been called an unsportsmanlike, in fact. Oh, a technical, technical foul on Doncic. Doncic, excuse me. So he's been mouthing off with the ref as well. So he gets the two free throws, and then he gets the technical free throw, and then Lavia get possession. So it could end up being, uh, still could end up being a five-point trip down the floor. And in all fairness to the referees, I mean, they've been listening to a lot of back chat in this game. Just like that, Lavia now the one-point lead in the last minute of the first half. Tima backs up Doncic, goes up and scores over Doncic. So now the adversity being faced by Slovenia, their star on the bench, a bit woozy. And then Propelic does a good job of drawing the foul from Smits. As we talked about, those hedges on the ball screens, Lavia being very aggressive on their defensive coverage, coming out very strong each time, bumping the guard. And the referees hadn't called it until just that last play. But why would you commit, why would you do that if you're Smits? Yeah, the guy's so a, far a from mile the away from the basket. You know he's going to the free throw line. And by the way, in case you haven't noticed, Propelish knows how to shoot free throws. Yeah, he hasn't missed. He, doesn't he, miss. he comes into this shooting 91%. So he just gets two points right back. Well, this first half hasn't disappointed from an entertainment standpoint. No, both, both teams on their way to the century mark, 52-51. Blooms for three, good! And Giannis Blooms, who came up huge for Latvia in their last two group games, has just knocked in his first three of the game. Slovenia shooting six of 11 from deep, Latvia eight of 15. Lights out. Doncic is gonna take it down to the end, see if anybody drops to help once he gets into the lane. It should leave somebody open. Nope, he's just gonna take a three. And good knockout to prevent the tap. I think it was by Tima. Tima. So having led for most of the first half, Slovenia find themselves trailing 55-51 against Latvia. Plenty of talking points. Sure he's going to attack Latvia right off the bat. Second half action underway here. They were looking for the lob. Istanbul. And Dragic passes to Anthony Randolph. They led by a big margin, but Latvia erased it and took the lead themselves. And Dragic's first contribution is too hard. Lavia's right now at their biggest lead of the game at four points. Davis Bertans in the starting lineup for the second half. He also has the three fouls. Sorry, uh, Darius Bertans, yep. And now the shot no good, and Chanchar with the rebound. Randolph, this time, makes the jump shot. He's been really impressed with his shooting touch. Especially these last few games, he had 21 points against Ukraine, his highest output for Slovenia. He's got 11 here tonight. Kristaps Porzingis. 
Didn't see much of that in the first half. He was money in the bank. Now Vidmar goes right at Porzingis. And Randolph aggressively hits the boards. Gets with a putback. Davis Bertans long. Long rebound. Now Davis again open. Nope. An offensive foul called on Davis Bertans. Gaspar Vidmar stepping in front of him. And the older brother, Darius, says, just pass it back, man. Great defense. Not only does he close out to prevent the shot, but then slides his feet and is able to draw a charge. He's a veteran, Vidmar. Knows how to get it done in the big games. Now he's battling for position down low. Chanchar's three-point attempt. And Davis Bertans picks up, I think, his third foul. No, second foul. He had no fouls at halftime. So Vidmar uh, proving to be a problem here for Latvia. Randolph just inside the charity stripe. So Randolph getting a lot of touches here. And Randolph uh, wrestling with Porzingis picks up number three, his third foul. Yep. That's a little bit too much contact, Anthony. <laughs> Strelniex. There's Bertans. Back out to Strelniex. Giannis Tima. And both teams scrapping for the ball. Dragic comes away with it out on the break. Puts it up and in. Slovenia moved back in front. And Dragic so dangerous in transition. Utilizing a nice little two-step move. Bertans drives in. Gets, looked like uh, Vidmar affected that shot. And Bogatskis might want to think about a timeout. Boy, Strelnix is a, a bulldog. He wants to make sure that Doncic knows he's, he's, uh, he's going to be very close to him there. The winner will face Spain. Not much of a reward uh, for winning a game, but it will be the semifinals. Chanchar, another attempt from three. Good! And Denver's second round draft pick this year in the NBA finally makes his presence felt on offense. It's uh, his first three-pointer. He's got three points. 9-0 run to start this quarter for Slovenia. Chanchar, who uh, played very well in the uh, Basketball Champions League this year for Megalex of Serbia in the Adriatic League, picks up the foul. So Vidmar goes out. Dragic and Chin. And the miss, and boy, Lavia are going to get a timeout. Uh, they're not, they've lost their uh, impetus on offense. A 9-0 run for Slovenia to start the second half. Randolph for three. Boy, what a game of runs it is proving to be. Bertans goes behind his back to get past Propelic, and now he throws it off the backboard, and Dragic explodes to the other end. Nice behind pass. the back pass, Doncic, and looky here, folks. An 11-0 run to start the second half by Slovenia. If you thought Lavia had rested momentum away, well, think again. It's now firmly in the corner of Slovenia. Lavia come back. It, they must have felt like world beaters, having come back from the 15-point deficit at the end, you know, in the first half. They get all the way back. They take the lead. They go to halftime feeling good about themselves. But it's Slovenia that come out feeling like, you know what, we're in a real fight. Let's go throw some punches. Well, here's Porzingis. Two. Well, he ends that one quickly. And how many times have we seen that cross screen action from Latvia? They've done it all tournament. And it's led to dunks and layups. Well, 
Dragic, little pump fake, and puts it up. Was that not a double dribble? I guess he'd received the pass. He goes in and draws the foul, <laughs> makes the basket. Look at this. Oh, it was oh no, that's what it was. So Strelnyx really helps out Dragic on that side. So Roland, Roland Smith picks up his second foul. Lavia just seemed to have lost their rhythm completely. Yeah, but the stars are shining here tonight. Dragic with 20. Porzingis 18. Well, still down eight. They've already proved they can come back. Here's Tima. And weak side rebound, Goran Dragic. Dragic again, gets in, puts it up and in! Yeah, he can score from all over the floor. Has every single shot in the repertoire. Knows the angles. He can use his feet too. Dragic lo looking up here with all the TV commentators. Here's Smith goes oh! in for the rim rocking slam dunk and draws the foul. Where did that come from? Well, I knew he was athletic, but oh my god. Goodness, Roland Schmitz. Chanchar, welcome to your poster. It's a poster party. With the left Look at hand that. and authority. That is exactly the kind of play that Lavia needed. Yes, it was. And don't forget, when the chips were down against this team, when they were playing Russia, it was the play of players like Schmitz that brought them back. The more unheralded players. Doncic. Chanchar, baseline. This is everything. Good contest there by Schmitz. Tima likes the ability now to post up for Pelic. Turns and scores! And they're going to say it was before the shot. Yeah, might have taken one extra dribble after that whistle was blown. Tina's a real bulldog, isn't he? Look at this. Don't get in my way. Don't get in my way. Pelic saying I didn't foul him, but <laughs> coming to a fortunate. coming to a theater near you in Spain. I mean, he will be playing for Basconia. Will Giannis Tima, the latest Latvian to come to Spain. Of course, Porzingis played at Sevilla for a couple, couple of years before going off the NBA. There is Bertans has been there. Davis has been there. Giannis Blooms has been there. Here's Porzingis on the baseline. And again, another rebound for Dragic. He just does so many things for Slovenia. Dragic finds his way. That's a charge. The right call looked like from Roberto Vasquez. Roberto from Puerto Rico. So three on Dragic now. And that's, now we have, I think it's six or seven players with three fouls. Randolph, Dragic, and Vidmar for Slovenia, and Porzingis, Tima, Darius Bertans, and Strelniex for Latvia. Foul trouble everywhere. Yeah, whether these coaches like it or not, they're going to have to go to the bench to get the reinforcements. There's Bertans. Schmitz uh, rattles out this time, and Doncic, and Porzingis picks up his fourth foul. And it's gonna be two free throws for Doncic. So Porzingis, you gotta love the fact that Doncic went to go get it. You see it right there. Yep, good call by the ref. Kind of breached in, and that young lady there knows what that means. Number four on Kristaps Porzingis. So now it's a risk game, risk reward for Bogatskis and Latvia. How long do they keep Kristaps Porzingis out on the court? Well, Jonas Painters looks like he's coming in now. If you're Latvia, excuse me, if you are Slovenia who've just gone ahead by eight, you go right at Porzingis, don't you? You have to. Especially, you know, Randolph is just looking at his chops right now. Porzingis wants the ball. 
Got to be careful. <laughs> Turns, scores. Nope, doesn't get it to fall, and Randolph collects the rebound. And Propellis drives in and couldn't get it over Porzingis. So by keeping him out on that play, he alters the shot. And Porzingis is going to have to come out. Look at this. You know, even in that situation, though, he's at risk yeah, of picking up the foul. Very, very close. That's a brave referee that's going to make that call, though, to foul out the star attraction. Anyway, he has to go sit down. Don't forget, Lavia was able to make their run with Porzingis on the bench in the first half. Good point. So Davis just three of nine now for three. Dragic over to Vidmar, and he goes up for the dunk and misses as Davis Bertans gets in his way. There's Bertans over to Davis. Now Tima. So that's off to the right. Fatima, just a one of five from three. Lavia, eight of 23 overall. Still haven't hit one in the second half. Doncic between the legs. Three point attempt. And good position from Gaspar Vidmar. See them battling for that position. Vidmar, have they called? Yep, they have called it. On Smits, Roland Smits picks up his third foul. So Porzingis has four fouls. Davis Bertans has two, Darius Bertans has three, Giannis Tima has three, Roland Smits has three, Giannis Strelniak has three. That is, those are all your key contributors. And Giannis Blooms is going to come in. One saving grace in this situation is uh, this is not the best part of Gaspar Vidmar's game, the free throws. But again, a lot of credit has to go to Slovenia, putting so much pressure on Latvia on defense to pick up all those fouls. Been a low scoring game, a low scoring third quarter for Latvia, just five points. Davis Bertans now guarded by Doncic. Schmitz finds his way inside, and he will go to the line. The foul on Ido Muric. You see a little bit of a hook there by Schmitz. And Muric kind of dives to the floor. Every, every foul contested by the bench. <laughs> it's like looks of shock and disbelief. Tima goes out. Janis Panis in. Second one is good. We're back to a seven-point deficit. Propellic over to Muric. And that is not got to be plan A, surely. You'd rather have Muric driving and passing out to Propellic. And Jonas Painis just finds his way down the lane for the layup. And Igor calls timeout. You already know Dragic is ready. Propelic goes left. He's going to take it all the way and draws the foul from Jonas Painis. Boy, he has been effective. Putting the ball on the deck and going to the basket, hasn't he? Clement Propellis. And because he has the ability uh, to hit that jump shot, you have to respect it. Yep. You see a lot of guys who can shoot kind of just live on the perimeter. But And what have we said about this man? 
Not the man you want to put on the free throw line if you're Latvia. These are his seventh and eighth attempts. These two fans enjoying the action. It's 11 points now for Papelic. As you propel Slovenia to a seven point lead. Oh, right, a nice one. Now you've got it. Davis, oh, nice no Pérez. look. Oh, Pinot, Pinot gets it to Roland Smith, but he is blocked by the incredible Hulk that is Gaspar Vidmar. Vidmar becoming uh, the unsung hero tonight. Here he is, going up against Schmitz. Back outside to Doncic. It's good. And look at him celebrate. Pushes the lead back out to 10. Doncic has 15 points himself now. Roland Smiths for three. And off the back of the iron. Dragic. They cut off his progress. Now Propelic for three. Nice Gets pass. It to oh! With authority. In the face. Look at him. He is a man possessed. Wow. Casper Vidmar. 12 point lead. And how dare you try to contest that dunk. <laughs> Yana Chinox hasn't come in tonight. Martin Ramirez hasn't come in tonight. Uh, he's got some other options. Skele, he hasn't played tonight. So the final shot uh, belongs to Latvia. See Davis Bertans going to come up here as well. Trillnix left wide open. Smith goes up for the rebound and scores with the putback. Very timely offensive rebound and putback there for Schmitz. Dimitz looks over at his coach and says, sorry, coach. So a 10-point deficit, definitely not insurmountable. 76-66 Slovenia after three. Davis Bertans puts it on the deck, drives in. And Porzingis has to be careful. Randolph back in the game, slow to get up. I think Randolph got a hand on that. Dragic kicks it back out to Randolph. Good! And he just lets everybody know what that was. That was a three, folks. Yeah, not a, what more can you say about Anthony Randolph really stepping it up? Bertans gets rejected by Vidmore and takes the cameraman out with him. And now, technical foul. Technical foul, Darius Bertans. Yep. Can come at a worse time. Give up a three. He Wrong take. wanted a foul call, didn't get it. And again, his words met with disdain by the referee. And it says that is going to give up a technical. And Dragic misses the technical, so it's not costly in that sense. But now you're two, two of your best players at four fouls for Latvia. You still have over nine minutes to play. And you're down 13. Tall mountain to climb now for Latvia. And good, good steal by Bertans. Blooms hands it off. And another Vidmar again. He is ruling the roost tonight. You said it, unsung hero, but he's singing right now. The Vidmar dater. Look at this. Don't bring that in here, he says. 
There is Bertans, Davis Bertans, count it! Well, if they're gonna go down, they're gonna go down swinging. And again, they have three or four guys just can knock down three, so this game is by no stretch over. Davis Bertans only with two fouls as well, so that's helpful. Blazic puts up an air ball, and Vidmar picks up a foul, and Porzingis is uh, hearing a whistle nearby. He's like, what did I do this time? but thankfully avoids uh, the foul. So four fouls now on Vidmar. You see him kind of put that form into the chest of Davis Bertans. So four fouls, getting him out of the lineup is uh, a small victory for Latvia because he has been an absolute terror in the second half. Giannis Painis. Drives in, alley -oop, and Porzingis not able to catch it. Yeah, we've seen that a few times where Painter is kind of runs the point forward position, but he's going to come out of the game now. He kind of threw. It's kind of actually the right play. Porzingis just wasn't expecting it. Coach Kokoskov used to coach Georgia. He was their coach at the last year of basket. So it's been a smooth transition. Uh, Blooms uh, picks up the foul on Doncic. It's the second foul on Latvia. And Latvia fans, uh, hand, uh, mouth in hand, looking a bit worried, to put it mildly. Doncic gets the switch on Porzingis. Is he going to take it at him? Did he get it off in time? Yeah, not a good possession there from Slovenia. Doncic only has two fouls. So Gordon Dragic, Randolph each with three fouls. Edo Murch and Vidmar uh, each. Excuse me, Edo Murch with three, Vidmar with four. Bertans back to Davis Bertans. And the foul called on Chanchar for pushing off Porzingis. That's going to be on Randolph. Oh, Randolph picks up the, four, the push to the fourth foul. Watch. So you see Porzingis has his high position. Oh, yeah. Randolph hands in the lower back. Porzingis, that's short. Over the back a little bit, and Porzingis able to get it. He put himself at risk for that foul on that. And he drives in and gets the foul from Chanchar. You see Porzingis determined to put the ball in the hoop some way, somehow. Fortunate to get to the free throw line. Wow. So this is huge. This is a major, major call. Because not only does he get two free throws, he gets a technical free throw, and Latvia will maintain possession because the technical foul has been called on the bench. So 79-69, he makes the first to make it 79-70. So this could be. Six-point trip. We've seen a number of kind of six-point trip opportunities throughout this tournament. We saw it with Serbia once. They actually capitalized. They made a three, and there was a foul away from the ball, so they kept possession. Then they hit another three. And Porzingis indeed makes the three free throws. The thing is that if you're lobby right now, you got to be satisfied if you do get a two. You don't need a three. Third time goes baseline. Out to Davis. Although it is better. And it is indeed a huge, huge swing. Now back to 79-75. Dragic on the bench, unable to do anything about it. Just like that, it's a close game yet again. You don't want to foul this man. And that's what he does. He takes it right down. Boy, he has really been major with his drives to the basket tonight. Great position from Porzingis. 
And just gets a little bit of space and puts it up. And Randolph, instead of taking the punishment, dishes it out to the ref. He's risking it. He's already just called a technical on his teammates for Pelic. But he's going up in my estimation tonight for Pelichal. He's uh, just wreaked havoc offensively with plays like this. Yeah, he's been pretty much unguardable. Going to come out of the game, though. He's coming out. Vidmar comes back in with the four fouls. Dragic comes back in. Well, it's going to be, I'm going to hate seeing one of these teams lose the competition because they've been worth the price of admission every time out. They've been outstanding. Slovenia haven't lost at the Eurobasket. Shot clock winding down. Down to two. Dragic takes a three. And Vidmar gets the rebound. I think it has to be careful. And yeah, I think they're going to call the travel. Indeed, Lefkano, the Argentinian referee, says that Mr. Vidmar has gone traveling. Good discipline there from Porzingis. Just staying down, not biting for the pump fake. Darius Bertans pulls up and hits the two, and just like that, the lead has been trimmed to 81-79. Propelic has been terrific tonight. He's got 13 points, one assist, one rebound. A perfect eight of eight at the line, but he's now on the bench. Porzingis has a game high of 23 points, and that's despite spending a lot of time on the bench in foul trouble. Doncic, Woo. right at Porzingis. He took it to him. Nice move again from Doncic. Do you think that call came from the coach? Take it straight to him. There's a cross screen action. Casper Vidmar holding his hands up and say, I didn't foul anybody. Don't call it on me. I want to stay in the game. Too much room. You got to be careful with Davis Bertans. John X looks for space. And has the ball knocked out of his hands by Chanchar. He holds his hand like he was fouled. Traveling then on Dragic, his sixth turnover of the game. Yeah, smart play by Tima there, transition defense. Put himself in a position where Dragic, in order to avoid contact, had to yep. take an extra little step. Excellent call by Lefkano. Davis Bertans for three. And coming from behind, the foul on Chanchar. So Slovenia now the ones getting frustrated. Four fouls on him. So it feels like everyone who's Anyone is in foul trouble right now. Well, he's definitely getting some body. And there's Bertans. Uh, could have got his team closer. Now Dragic. There's baseline. Over to Randolph. He's thinking about the three. He goes right at Bertans. And Christoph Porzingis stood tall. Shot clock winding down. Doncic puts up a long one. Oh! It. And wow! <laughs> he looks up at the crowd with a huge smile. The bank is open. And it's quite late. And the pass to Bertans gets it right back. Or at least he gets two of it back. Porzingis. Easy dunk, but, but that shot by Doncic. But we've only got, we're coming up on the four minute mark now. So it's Slovenia crunch time. With a hand in the face, the hand of Porzingis and Dragic. Nevertheless, it's a lot of, yeah. uh, Bertans goes in for the jam. I mean, this just, this is just good basketball right now. <laughs> Guys making plays. You see a dunk by Bertans. Good extension. He's shot 13 threes tonight, but able to throw it down that time down. Could be the best game of the Eurobasket so far, folks. Hands From down. Intensity standpoint, the high level of play. Doncic pulls back, 
Pulls back again, puts up a three. Good! Again with Porzingis. Don't tell me this man's not going number one. Unbelievable. What a class performance. From the 18-year-old Phenom. How could you not take him number one? I mean, how could you not? Bertans on the baseline. Now is the time the to make needs shots. To stop. Can't trade baskets. I mean, goodness. They're giving up some long shots. Can't complain. Look at the hustle from Strelnex putting pressure on Dragic. Dragic gets in, gives it back to Randolph. Wow. Strelnex did not need to make that foul. That was just too much. So many highlight plays in the last two or three minutes. I know he's trying to he's trying to be all over him like white on rice here. He's got to, he's got to slow up a little bit. You're getting into the shot clock. That shot by Doncic. Just a prayer that's been answered. See here again, just launches it up. There's going to be a standing ovation after this game, no matter what, for both teams. Dragic. For three, and there's Bertans now. Poor thing is the and ball. Goes. And he perhaps got bailed out. Porzingis couldn't dunk it. Vidmar picks up the foul. I didn't see what Vidmar did. It looked like he was in decent position here. Yeah, a little bit of well, he did, he did kind of fall into him, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good call. Yeah. What an amazing, uh, terrific effort from Vidmar, though. Nine points uh, do not does not uh, give you the full picture of what he's done. Yeah, six rebounds, four blocks for Vidmar. Also, he took a couple of charges, if memory serves correctly. So now you wonder inside if life might become a little bit easier for Przingis and Bertans. Now it's back to a four-point game. Crunch time. The other thing, both teams only one timeout remaining. You can see fatigue starting to set in just a little bit on the defensive end as the shots are getting easier and easier. One of these teams, it's a cracking screen. And one of these teams will go home, and Randolph is uh, taking a shot. Yeah, Strelnik fought through that screen. No call was made either way. Both guys. <laughs> See here. Oh. A lot of he contact, but yeah. he tried to play on, but it was just too much. Can't bring yourself out of the game now. The winner to face Spain, folks, in the semifinals. The stakes are high. Dragic gets inside, spins, nowhere to go, and the ball goes off of Lavio with four seconds on the shot clock. Dragic got in deep. I don't know if he thought he was going to get a foul called, but Lavio did a good, did well to surround him. And Porzingis. Incredibly, has been playing with four fouls for a while. For Palace for three, and it was short. Boy, they got a good look, though. Porzingis Pass! pass. Oh, oh, goodness me! And Randolph was nudging his backside into Porzingis as he went by. 29 now for the Unicorn. And Davis Bertans picks up the foul, so not what you want if you are Latvia. How many times do we have to tell you? Don't foul for Pellis. Look at this. What a nice pass from Tima as well. Post oh, no. feed to a cutting for Zingas. Anthony, I got that wrong. He, he did a good job of uh, avoiding the contact. Edo Murich in the game. Three point. Difference now, make it four. Two minutes Perfect, to go. 10 of 10 at the line. Look at that, that's a hero for you. He's been terrific. And doesn't hesitate, takes the three. Is he big time or what? Big time player. Big time shot. Gets big it back to one. <laughs> Here we go, Unreal. Jeff. Unreal. It's gonna go down to the wire. It might be one 
Whoever has the ball last. Doncic wants to respond. Man. Gets he no tries. Foul. He tries. He went down. Porzingis was flirting with it though. Now Bertans. They want it. They've got to swing it. Are they going to get to Porzingis? 119 to go. He takes a three. Way long. And Bertans sneaks in there and bumps Edo Murich. But if you're alive here again, you're living and dying by the three. 33 three-point attempts. It was a difficult shot. And free throws have been falling. Both teams in the bonus. Boy, those are clutch. 95-92, 26 of 33, 79% at the line. Game of the tournament. You've obviously watched more Eurobasket games than I have in your career. Is this a classic? It's a classic. It's an instant classic. <laughs> instant classic. It's a classic. El classic. Pump and Bertans gets in and went for the dunk but didn't complete it. And Bertans has to be careful. He doesn't get a tee. He thought a foul should have been called. And they don't want to foul this man, Propelic. Again, he's so tough putting it on the deck. Here he goes. Pulls it back to Randolph. He's going to take a three. And Edo Muric flies in for the rebound, a new 14. All you need is one stop if you're Latvia. Dragic drives in, makes a great layup. Unbelievable. The Dragon. Well, Latvia, tip your hat to this team. They have been terrific all tournament. Are they going to get an unlikely comeback, or will it be Slovenia who you have to tip your hat to for being so excellent? Here they are, inside to Porzingis. Drives in, puts up a tough bank shot over Randolph. And now they're going to try to trap. And they do foul Doncic. That's it for Darius Bertans. He fouls out. Well, this is a pressure situation, but he's been in this before numerous times already in his uh, young career. And pressure or what pressure? I mean, he's just, I kind of want to wait till this next one goes up, but can't jinx the guy. Yeah, he, and he's makes both. Cut, he's cut from a different cloth. That's what I wanted to say. He's Now they got to go quickly. Will they attempt a three? Porzingis takes a three, rattles out, and Slovenia are in the driver's seat now. 99-94 with 12.1 seconds remaining. And you can't fault Lavia. Given a tremendous effort, Porzingis, 34 points. But Luka Doncic having his biggest game in the Slovenian national team uniform. 25 points, potentially 26, 27 here on the way. Just what has happened when you think about Latvia at halftime, the players, I mean, obviously they didn't switch off, but clearly they came out for the second half uh, not in sync. And they went the longest time uh, with only, what, five points scored. Here they are, quickly. Got to pull up. And he makes it. So that three makes it back to a four-point game. Porzingis getting in Randolph's face. And that's a lot of frustration there. 
Yeah, they won't go. Well, I mean, I'm not sure these guys are going to meet each other uh, shaking hands after the game. Oh, poor thing is. And, and right now, this is a more of a dangerous time for Randolph than Porzingis. He needs to be careful he doesn't get a technical because he could really hurt his team. And his players are coming up and telling him to calm down. This is not about him. This is about Slovenia. And that's what he's got to remember. Because if he does, if he gets baited into a technical, it changes everything, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because obviously free throw possessions. Well, yeah, they're the talking about it right here. now. Excessive celebration. Well, the ball is coming down Slovenia's way, it looks like. So we see Porzingis. I'm sorry, Davis Bertans here. Watch what happened. They're locked up. They were locked up. They're locked up there. Oh, oh that's. Yeah, that was, uh, well, they were locked in there, but Randolph, I think, was uh, instigating a little bit there. And they're doing well to get him out of the game. Because he's, he's about to cost them a spot in the semifinals. So you see a little bit of a... Uh, Might want to watch, uh, well, make sure uh, we get some security <laughs> on the court after this one when those teams are shaking hands. Because tempers are running high. So they're, they're saying didn't Porzingis foul out if there was a double foul. So... No, it was Davis Bertans was the, the technical foul on the Slovenian bench and a technical foul on Davis Bertans. So Davis Bertans has five fouls as well. So he has to go out. So he goes out. Well, it's been a brilliant game. Uh, you hate to almost see it kind of end like this. And a quick foul from uh, Penis on Propelic. Again, theoretically, this game is not over. Oh, they got the wrong, yeah. Again, they got the wrong man at the line uh, uh, to Latvia. And no sign of him missing a free throw tonight. So it's been a, not just an exciting game, but a very exciting fourth quarter. Zanus Painis quickly to Blooms. Zoulis attempts a three. And that's it. It's heartbreak. It's disappointment for Latvia. And the perhaps unlikely story that is Slovenian basketball, the national team coming to the Phoebe Eurobasket. They remain unbeaten. They advance to the semifinals to face Spain. They win it 103-97 in a real throwdown.